If you are a restaurant owner or a manager, and uh, this is 2023, we've said it before in the previous video, that the business uh, world as regards food of all kinds is uh, fastly changing. And there are three major skills you must acquire as far as 2023 is concerned, and that is what we are going to be discussing in this video. I am Uncle Menu, and this is the Restaurant Booming Firm. If your restaurant at this time is struggling to meet up with its financial demand and you are running around to see how you can deal with this issue, you must have to start with these three skills at this time. Number one is acquisition skill. Henceforth, all the customers that come into your restaurant to dine or to make inquiry or whatever that brings them in, you must make strict efforts this time around to intentionally leave an impression on these people. It is the impression you leave on them that actually brings them back. I'm very sure you are a customer to, even though you may own a restaurant or a bar or whatever, but you are also a customer to some other restaurants. There must be one or two other restaurants you might have patronized before for any reason at all. And sometimes you find yourself going back to the same exact restaurant to also patronize them. Now, have you sat down to ask yourself what is the exact reason that makes me go to these people? Whatever that reason is, the same way your own customers are also asking themselves the reasons that make them come to you. So if you don't give them any reason to come back, they may definitely not come back. So you must be very intentional about leaving an impression on any new customer that walks into your restaurant. Treat them like family. Show them you care beyond making sales. Show them you care. Sometimes have personal discussion with them. It is not always about selling, selling. In fact, the more friends you make, the better uh, the number of customers you're going to be having in your restaurant as far as 2023 counting forward is. One good way to achieve this is don't always work towards making a sale. Work rather towards making a customer because the more you work towards making a customer with those people that come in and move out on a daily basis, the better you make them friends and the better you retain them in your business. I can remember I said earlier that you should make every effort to make impression on any new customer that walks into your restaurant. Skill number two, make sure you always target specific people with specific offerings. The meals and dishes you offer in your restaurant, who are they meant for, is an important skill you must have. Do not always go by that notion that everybody must eat. Uh, just in case you don't know, everybody must not eat that particular food you offer in your restaurant. Even if they must eat, must they eat from you? So you must target to get a larger audience of specific people with specific items that you offer in your restaurant. And that should also help you to know what and what items to sustain in your menu. You've done your business through the just concluded 2022. It is a new year. You need to sit back again and look at the items you have on your menu. Which one of them have, uh, has good turn up or turnover uh, rates? Which one has low or less turnover rates? Which one has good turnover rates and also has low cost of production? And the ones that have a, a very high cost of production, these things are what you need to check and sit back again to know what and what to sustain in your menu and what not to sustain in your menu. Remember, everybody must not eat what you offer. So make effort to target specific people henceforth with specific offerings in your restaurant. Again, what item targeting skill helps you do is that it helps you to even understand the people you target with particular offerings you have. Understand them, understand their behavior, so that you'll be able to do more of those things that they like or they are likely to like. You begin to do more of them, you know how to solve their problems directly with those offerings. Assuming you have five items that you offer and you know the people you target more by each of those items, it helps you to understand them better, know what they are likely to love and include those things in those items and get them ready for them always. And also it helps you to know when there is a gap. Assuming there is a space in that particular angle, you should be able to discover it because you have intentional, uh, you are intentionally targeting them by those offerings. So you'll be able to discover where there is gap and then also it's a business opportunity that you may need to feel if you have the capacity. Skill number three, you must be very, very open to improvements this time around. It is no longer business as usual. You should be able to develop good uh, response skills 
to both the feedbacks that are coming from your customers and the suggestions that are coming from your workers. You must be able to pay attention to your workers this time. These are people who have direct contact. They are the ones that are directly involved in the businesses that you are doing. They are the ones that have direct connection with your customers. They interact with them on a daily basis. So they are in better position to know what your customers feel like because the customer is the root of the business. Anytime you don't have a means of collecting information directly from your customer or customers, it may be difficult for you to make progress in such a business. So pay attention this time around to the suggestions that are coming from your workers most importantly and make sure you are very open to improvement, especially those ones you already have the capacity to do. Do not relent in doing it because any moment you relent in doing those things and your competitors are able to discover these things and do them your customers will begin to move out gradually to them and before you know what is happening you begin to ask yourself what exactly you have done and your customers are no longer coming to dine in your restaurant so please be very very open to improvement another way you can achieve this is by trying to move out sometimes you can go to places maybe away from your immediate location look out for restaurants that are operating on your own concept exactly your concept or your size or your capacity or people are doing similar things to what you do then go there you may not even identify yourself as a restaurant owner just sit there some minutes find out what it is that they do what actually is working for them what is not working for them is a business you're already in so it will be very very easy for you to discover what is happening in other areas then you can come back in your area and be the first to integrate these things in your business if you don't do that again i repeat and the people beside you or very close to where you are understand these things identify them and do them you may run the risk of losing all your customers remember we discussed three skills for your restaurant this 2023 and we said earlier that you should consider beginning the year looking at acquiring these skills it is something you can do for yourself remember number one we talked about acquisition skill number two we talked about item targeting skills and finally we said you should level up leveling up leveling up very very important remember to always put down any confusion or question you have in the comment section because that's the only way we're going to know exactly how to save you better exactly what problem you're having in your restaurant to be able to address it and please hit the subscription button and the notification bell and of course give this video a thumbs up so that you enable the platform to push the video out to as many restaurant owners and managers who would need this to do better in their business as possible see you in the next video